Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris. Tonight, I'm going to attempt to image the Hercules cluster with quite an unorthodox setup here. If you've been watching my other videos, you might have noticed that I've been testing out some beginner entry-level telescopes. One of them is the StarQuest range of telescopes, and this is the mount from that. But I've recently picked up a second-hand William Optics Magres 72, which is f6 in focal ratio and has a focal length of 432 millimeters. I don't have a flattener for this telescope, so what I'll be doing is I'll be cropping the image. I'll be using quite a large sensor as well, so I'll, I will need to do that. This is assuming that I can actually find the Hercules cluster because I'm using a non go to mount. So, A, I need to find this object without go to. B, I've not got a finder shoe yet for this scope, I've ordered one but it's on its way. So I'm going to have to use a wide angle eyepiece in a diagonal to track down the Hercules cluster. Now to find it, if you draw a line between Vega and Arcturus, it's two thirds of the way from Arcturus towards Vega or a third away from Vega. The problem is going to be is normally if I'm doing deep sky astrophotography, I would point my telescope at a bright star, pop on the Batonoff mask, the focus mask, and use the brightness of that star to look at the six diffraction spikes that appear and get them equally spaced apart so I know I've got perfect focus. There isn't any bright stars near the Hercules cluster, so this is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to rely on the focus peaking on my Fuji X-T100, which is an APS-C size mirrorless entry-level camera. It's a stock camera. It's not astro modified in any way, but that's not going to be a problem for a globular cluster. So there might be a few issues tonight. No go to, no finder. Maybe a few issues with actually focusing. Maybe clouds. There's all these things that can happen when you try and image a deep sky object, but wish me luck. The other thing I'd like to point out is to attach my Fuji X-T100 to the Magrad 72. I'll be using the dedicated T-ring for Fuji and a T-adapter and then a two inch extension tube. This is a Revelation two inch extension tube. And this is so there's enough back focus. Quite often with short tube ap apochromatic refractors, they're a bit too short and you need to add on extension tubes to reach focus with things. If you've got a diagonal, it's not a problem because you've got all this light path distance, but we need to compensate for that somehow. And that's what that extension tube does. It's basically replacing that distance of light path as it bounces off the mirror with just a straight tube. Hopefully it reaches focus okay. Now a little bit about the Hercules cluster, assuming I can find it. It's a big ball of ancient stars in the constellation of Hercules, funnily enough. It's fair to say it's the most well-known globular cluster in the nor Northern Hemisphere. It's certainly the biggest. I mean, M3 is nice, but M13 takes the, the biscuit. It's the biggest. It's got f roughly 300,000 stars and they're very densely populated near the core. The, the mean average distance is something like 0.1 light years. So to get that into perspective, our nearest star is Proxima Centauri, which is 4.2 light years away. So that's 40, 40 times closer. So if you can imagine our solar system being surrounded by stars 40 times closer to Proxima Centauri is to us, then that's kind of what it's going to be like if you were living inside that cluster. And it's a, it's a distance of about 25,000 light years, I think it is. I'll check, I think it is 25,000 light years. Anyway, hopefully we can find it and I can show you a picture of it. I'm not particularly hopeful about getting long exposures because this is a very basic mount. It basically runs off two AA batteries and for the money you pay for this, it's actually incredible. I'd recommend it for a beginner starting out for sure who was on a very tight budget and couldn't afford a proper imaging mount. If they wanted to do a bit of planetary and lunar, absolutely fine with this mount. And I think you can take very short deep sky exposures with this. But we'll see tonight. It's not got a polar scope, so I can't accurately polar align. All I can do is point it north, eye up Polaris, 
and hopefully I can get it near enough that it's going to track okay but I'm only expecting seconds of exposures rather than minutes so it might be a challenge in post-processing but we'll see if I get anything I'll post it up. Okay, on with the video.